Good evening and welcome to News 10 on My Fox 10. A potential power line struggle in Vigo County. Duke Energy has plans to add a more reliable power source to local customers. But where that new power line may go has hundreds of folks concerned about how it will affect their homes. News 10's Matt Gregory explains for you tonight at 10. The scene at the West Terre Haute Community Center resembles an art gallery. Portraits lining the rows and patrons' eyes transfixed on pictures. But on these easels are the plans for a potential 138 kilovolt power line. We invited about 700 people uh, who live within a thousand feet of uh, one of three proposed options. It's a difficult predicament. Duke Energy says they need to upgrade power lines or it could hamper their service. And customers are looking at how the upgrades affect their homes. This is a project that will have an effect on some of our customers. And so by inviting people here, giving them a forum where they can ask questions of our experts. Like Lou Brackle, he's pointing out how near one of the possible sites comes to his home. The one uh, drawing down there is pretty close. So I'm, I'm just kind of walking around and seeing all the different options they have and what they're going to try to have as far as putting lines in. While Lou went looking for answers, just across the room, John Lang says he just found more questions. I have got a thorough run around with everybody I talk to. One guy down here finally told me, he said, you need to go talk to so-and-so. I said, well, they're the ones who sent me over here to talk to you. As the meeting wore on, more people came, and with them, more questions, as Vigo County gets a glimpse at a future for power running through their backyard. In West Terre Haute with photojournalist Gary Bryan, Matt Gregory, News 10. Duke says while 700 people were invited, the power line route they choose will not affect that large of a number.